Do you want to know one good reason to use procedures in VBA programming? One reason I haven't thought of in more than 10 years of my career? Watch this episode of Better VBA. Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com and you're watching Better VBA. I just recorded a video about um, using procedures for code reuse. But there's another reason, another very good reason to use procedures in your VBA programming. And it's a reason I haven't thought of until very recently. That's when I read the book Clean Code by Robert C. Martin. I'm going to put a link down there in the info box so that you can check out that book for yourself. And I absolutely recommend doing so because that is a really, really good book for absolutely every programmer, totally regardless which language you are using. But back to the topics of procedures. I, I used lots and lots of procedures in uh, my programming, programmer's life for code reuse. But I never thought about using a procedure solely for the purpose of making your code more readable. But that is a very, very valid reason to use procedures too. And today I would like to show you what exactly is, um, is the idea behind that and how that would look in practice. So let's look at this code. It is um, inside an access form, but that does not really matter too much. It's um, named button save order and it's meant to, um, yeah, it's wired up to the click event of a save order button inside the form. It does not actually save the order, but just calls an uh, other procedure that, that does the actual saving of the stuff. What this procedure does is mainly it validates the form um, if the data entry is okay and if the order can actually be saved. And I already did a pretty good job at formatting the code. I um, use very speaking control names and I even use a constant in here to make the code as readable as possible. But still, if I look at this huge block of nested if-then conditions, I have a really hard time figuring out what's going on here. And that is something I, I want to cover today. I want to show you how to make this simple procedure more readable. Let's look at the, the nested if statements in detail. Let's figure out what's going on there. Well, I, I check if um, not is null the company name or the last name of the customer and I check if uh, the city is not null or and if the zip code is not null and if the zip code is valid. Yeah, well, clearly that is um, required. If I want to actually ship an order to the customer, I should um, check that there is a valid address entered and um, the shipment will actually uh, reach the customer. So that absolutely makes sense to, to include that in, in the check before I can save the order. But now let's look at the next line. It should be pretty self-explaining what's happening here. I check the total order value and is that less than the credit check threshold? And then I check um, again the total order value is less than um, the customer max credit amount. So um, I just want to check is is it uh, okay to ship out that order to the customer who is paying later, I assume. That's, that's not that important. But you clearly see 
that are two totally different um, topics concerned here. The first part is um, it validates the customer address and the second part validates um, or checks if I um, are allowed to, to send out that order to the customer. And only then I do save the order and otherwise I display a message box to the user that uh, the order cannot be saved for whatever reason. So now I want to focus on this. How can we make this more readable? And what we can do, we are inside um, an access form. So we can very, very easily create a new function like um, is customer address valid and the, the important point is, uh, I should mention that or emphasize that, we are not going to reuse this code anywhere else in the application. It's just sitting inside this uh, customer order form. It's never going to be reused anywhere else. I'm absolutely sure about that. And still I want to um, still I want to uh, put the code in a function. So private function. And now I I grab this part of the expression and can just say is customer address valid and then I leave all that stuff in here just remove that and now I put that here if is customer address valid now that's already much much better but I'm um, going to uh, cut this out here as well and create another function and is uh, well I'm going to name it is um, customer credit worthy that is maybe not the best possible of names but it pretty clearly um, states what I'm going to check here. Now I indent that properly and not needed here and that can go as well. Now I created this function and I'm going to put this here. And now look again at at this function, the, the save order function. And I'm going to zoom in on that. Now it looks totally different. If I'm just looking at this function or this procedure, I see exactly what is checked here. Is customer address valid and is customer credit worthy? And then I'm going to save the order and um, otherwise I'm displaying the message box that the order cannot be saved. So if I just look at this procedure, it's much cleaner. I will instantly understand what is checked here without going through all that nested if statements I had there before. And the code has become much more readable. And now if I... Um, look at the details of this procedure, the, the credit worthiness thing. Then I see there are only two lines and they are like self-documented. I don't need, need to put a comment in here. It's absolutely obvious what this small little function is supposed to do. It's uh, supposed to check the, the credit worthiness. Well, not the best name, but um, is it okay to ship the order out to that customer? And um, the same if I look at the is customer address valid. Now it's 
instantly clear what this if block is supposed to mean. It's supposed to check if the customer address is valid and if I can ship out an order to it. So it's instantly documented and the, the parent function is incredibly more readable. Amazing, I think. And yeah, I never thought of that. So even now, after thinking about this concept for a couple of weeks now, even now I'm still amazed what an extraordinary difference this coding technique makes to the readability of code. And I'm still kind of godsmacked that I never, never thought about this myself. I only used um, procedures um, the moment I, I wanted to reuse code more than once in an application. And otherwise I just left it uh, the way you've seen it in the coding example originally. I never thought about um, splitting a procedure just for the purpose of readability. And I'm godsmacked still what a difference that makes. And um, I hope you, you agree with me that it is a huge, uh, enormous difference. And I'm definitely going to use uh, this approach lots and lots of times in my own code. And I hope you, you are going to think about using that as well, because I think it makes the readability much, much better. So um, I hope you learned quite uh, a new bit of, of programming wisdom today, because I certainly did when I first heard about that concept. And as we are at the end of the episode, I thank you very much for watching and I would love if you uh, subscribe to my channel. So bye bye and see you next time. Bye.